Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be looking at my 810 Warthog build and review. Um, this kit is from Revel, it's a 148 scale model, you can see on the side chart here we got the um, skill level, as I said before. Um, the hours it'll take to build and the ages, 12 plus model, this model is from Revel, as I said before, on the side there. Um, nice box art over there. Uh, we got it above flying Iraq or Iran, something like that, some desert area over there. And then we got here on the side of the box we got that um, Intin Warthog logo and then we got um, a ship painted up in like a camouflage greenish color. And then on the other the bottom of the box we got our paint guide, um, various specs about the model, how tall it is, how long it is. <clears throat> and then, or we got over here, uh, another side view of the model. And then we just got a few other pictures of the finished model on there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and open up the box. See what we got in here. Okay, I'll lift that box up there. There we go. Okay, so I've already taken all the um, molds out of the bags for time's uh, sake. Um, because I wanted this video, I didn't want to have to like mess around with a bunch of bags like I have I've had to do in a few of my other videos. Now what this is the cockpit. Um, here is actually the cockpit control thing, cockpit, various other parts, bombs, missiles, um, whatever these are. I'm not sure. You probably know. Um, and then we got more of these bombs or missiles. I honestly don't know much about what these things carry. <clears throat> okay, then we got the little holders for all the bombs or missiles, whatever I said before, and then. Um, a few other thing, a few other little small details there for mainly just bombs and missiles and various things like that. Uh, basically the same thing on the other side, bombs, missiles, and then um, we also got a cockpit figure to sit in the cockpit. His other arms, so you can make it, make him steering. He's looking off on the side. Looks pretty cool like that. Here we got the landing gear struts. Um, this is probably the uh, landing gear, um, bay housing thing. A few other parts for inside the cockpit, landing gear doors. Um, I'm not sure what these are, I'll find out later. Probably something to do with the engines, or the small tanks on the side. Hey, okay, here's the biggest piece we got. We got the um, engine mounts, top of the engines, two halves of the wings, and then landing gears, um, <clears throat> probably the back of the engines. And then we got the half, um, half the part of the model here. Uh, we got in this next piece, we got the other half. Here we go. Um, the other half of the model, you can see it's a pretty large plane. Um, the other two halves of the wings, engines, uh, one landing gear, and another one up there. Um, landing flaps, uh, side, um, air, whatever they're called, um, air strut things. And then also we got the clear glass piece in here. I'm just going to go ahead and open that up for you. I didn't want to open this before because I didn't want to scratch it with my holly knife I was using. Oh, very nice clear pieces, if you can see on that. Uh, this is one of the best I've seen. Although there are a few little scratches in there, but overall, these are very clear. Very shiny, clear. I like them a lot. Okay, what we also have are the decals. Oh, there we go. So it looks like there are maybe three, four versions you can build this kit. We've got the Play Hog, um, a few other things you can look on there. Um, and mainly just a lot of decals. Quite a bit of decals, most of them are for the bombs. Or missiles, whatever they're called, have the side little um, reflective pads at night. Very cool. Very nice decals. I'll see how those go on. And then what we have in here is the um, direction kit, direction manual. Oh, here we go. Paint guard. First thing we got. Sorry, if you can't see that. It's just that the light is right above the desk. Okay, okay. We got the cockpit. It tells you to put everything together. Since I'm just gonna go here. What I really want to see is a paint guide on here. Ah, very detailed instructions. Tells you pretty straightforward what you need to do. We're going to go around here. i got to get to the back. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're at the back now. Um, what we have, paint guide, various um, paint jobs. Um, this is for the Norris, the Play Hog. And then we got another version, which is just like the normal gray one. Um, and that's cool. There we go. Like that. The gray scheme one that's on the box is that killer. That's for the um, Let's Roll version of the model plane. <clears throat> well, regardless, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and dive into this kit, and um, we'll see how it turns out. Anyway.
one now I'm back with the finished model. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Just the overall look of it. Um, how everything easy it was to put together. Um, directions were easy, really easy to follow on this. Very straightforward. Um, the one little part was confusing with the landing flaps. Um, how they're spread out. Um, but that's very easy if you just look it up online. Other pictures and stuff. You can easily figure that out. Paint chart was good. The decal chart was good. Um, very straightforward. I did have one little issue when I was putting together the um, engines. The um, fan blade in there wouldn't exactly um, fit flush with the um, top part. So there's two parts. These go both pie together like that. And the top part didn't exactly fit correctly, so I just had to sand that down a little bit on the fan blade. Um, you'll see I did that gray scheme uh, killer on there. If you can see that from here, I'm not sure if you can. Right there, you can see the lighter gray along the wing tips, and then some of the other parts in the model. And then we got the um, light bluish gray color. On the color that is more blue. I don't know the colors at the top of my head, but you already know. Whenever I was um, doing all the parts, I had notes in there. Seeing what colors I used. I'm um, on the bottom here. Very detailed on the bottom. On um, detailed set for a Revel models, so usually they don't have this much detail included on them. Our big tail looks nice there. Got all those weapons and thing, various things. Um, I think that wa weathering wash I did with the um, black paint and water really adds a nice layer of detail to the whole kit. Um, there is another video. I think it's my B25 Mitchell bomber video that shows you how to make those or how to make that weathering wash. Go check that out um, if you want to. Um, if I'm, I'm probably gonna put a link up there in the right hand corner, but if I don't, um, go look on my channel and you can find that there. Okay, and um, now what else? Um, oh, I added a clear coat on it, as you probably just saw. Um, clear coat helps to seal everything in, seal the weathering wash so that if I nick it or something while I'm hanging it or very or moving it around or showing people it, um, it doesn't scrape the whole model up or making it look bad. And then um, let me see what else I did. Oh, I also added the I also painted a little um, what's it called? A yellow little strip on the top of the rear stabilizers. We also have, you can see um, the camouflage worked out really well. We got that light blue. The contrast between the grays is good on that tail wing. You can see that there, too. Um, same thing on the back of the, of the other rear wing stabilizers. On there, too. It's a little shiny. It's because I just put the clear coat on it. Um, it'll dull down after a little while. Um, what else? See what else we got. Oh, back here we got all those decals. Decals went on really nice. Um, I had a few issues with cracking on the larger ones. Um, I mean, that can be expected because this is an older kit, but still, um, that shouldn't really happen. But the small decals went on very nicely. Um, they, they, as soon as you put them on, they really sunk down into those cracks. Um, I didn't even have to use any um, decal solvent or anything, but yeah, they all went down really well. Um, I got the um, cockpit glass, really easy to paint. See what else we got down here. Oh, we got the side lights. Um, I just painted those up with a uh, um, green sharpie, and then the same thing on the other side. We sit with a red sharpie there. I right, on the bottom and let you see um, an overview of that. I just looked at my camera stand there. There we go. This plane's pretty big for a 148th scale model. Not as big as some of my other ones, but not as small as some of them, as other ones I have. Worked out really well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that like button. Um, if you haven't, don't hit the like button. Anyway, if you, the best way you can support the channel is by subscribing. Also, check out my channel to see all my videos. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button so more people can see it. Subscribe, and anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.